Good evening. Hello, I'm Dennis Shelby, president of the Chicago Psychoanalytic Society, proudly serving Chicago since 1931. Tonight we have the Society's first online lecture and our last lecture of the season. COVID-19 and increasingly strict guidelines for public gatherings pushed the executive committee into the sad position of having to cancel our March, April, and May lectures. But we could not bear the thought of the society ending the lecture season in silence. Tonight, we bring you our final lecture, which will focus on a work by Marion Tolpin that has not received the attention it deserves. Her 1997 paper, The Development of Sexuality and the Self. Now, Marion lived a long life from 1925 to 2008. I mention her lifespan because it says something about her professional development. Marion went to medical school when only a handful of women were admitted, and she did hint that she learned to hold her own as she did internships and residencies surrounded by young men who did not quite know why a woman was there in the first place. Marion's contribution tended to be an expansion, a filling out, if you will, of the work of Heinz Kohut. Connie Goldberg felt Marion was responsible for establishing Kohut's baby, a very different conceptualization than Freud's or Klein's baby. The Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute was her analytic home base. She was sought after as an analyst, supervisor, and teacher. Many people look forward to the annual self-psychology meetings, wondering what Marion was going to contribute. As for tonight's topic, for many years I've taught courses on sexuality, gender, and orientation. Papers roll on and roll off the syllabi. This paper has remained a required reading for 20 years. The paper is rich in forward thinking and takes a radically different approach to the topic than other authors of the middle to late 1990s. It is an egalitarian approach, far ahead of its time. Psychoanalytic works on sexuality tend to focus on perversions or what went wrong, leaving an empty space for what constituted, if you'll excuse my language, normal sexuality. Tonight we are joined by Marion's son Jim, her niece Lynn, and later in the evening her daughter Maria. We thank them for gathering and participating in tonight's lecture. On to the program. Two analysts who supervise with Marion as candidates will present their thoughts about her paper. Our format to be tonight will be, Lucy Freund will introduce our speakers. She will then respond to their thoughts. We will then open up the discussion to questions from the audience. We have a large group participating tonight. You may have noticed you were muted upon entry. When we come to question and answer period, please use the instant message feature. We will usually, we usually end society meetings with a social hour and the opportunity to speak further with the speakers. Tonight, we invite you to stay online, grab your favorite beverage and continue the conversation. Lucy Freund is on the faculty of the Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute the Chicago Center for Psychoanalysis, and Northwestern University, and has been the recipient of several prestigious teaching awards. At CPI, I will just, would describe her as a beloved colleague and a solid reputation of being a good person. She received her master's and doctorate from the University of Chicago in educational psychology with a concentration in clinical psychology, she has presented several times at the International Association for Psychoanalytic Self-Psychology and published in Journal of that association. I'll turn the program over to Lucy. Welcome everybody to our uh, group tonight. I'm gonna introduce Thetis and then David, and then they will give their talks right after I finish my introductions. Thetis Cromie is a graduate of the Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute the Institute for Clinical Social Work, the School of Social Service Administration, and the Divinity School of the University of Chicago. She is on the faculty of the Chicago Psychoanalytic Institute and is on the faculty of the Clinical Psychology Institute of Chengdu, China. 
Thetis has published a number of papers on clinical and theological topics with intriguing titles. Highly relevant to tonight is one entitled Supervision with Marion Tolkien, The Total Transference. I should add that this paper has found its way onto many self-psychology syllabi. As illustrated in her biography, Thetis is involved with many of the major clinical centers in Chicago and also in Chengdu, China. Her rich education in clinical work, as well as her work in the ministry, has given her a solid and ethical background from which she has done superior work as an analyst, supervisor, and teacher. Thetis and I served as co-chairs of the Evaluation of Learning Committee for a number of years. We complemented each other. I think this is a particular form of a twinship. Wonderfully. Thetis was empathic with the candidates and their anxieties about their performance, but also held to the standards espoused by the Institute. As co-chairs, Thetis and I spent many phone calls deciding who would volunteer to uh, lead up any of the um, uh, of the colloquia and who, what people would read papers. We also spent a lot of time laughing together and having a good time. So in short, we worked well together, but we also had fun together.